Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today in this video we are going to study about Fermi level, Fermi energy and Fermi Dirac functions. So friends, before understanding this concept, first let's see what are fermions. Fermions are the particles that obey Fermi Dirac statistics. And these fermions generally have half odd integer spin. And examples for these particles are protons, electrons and neutrons. And these particles basically obey Pauli exclusion principle. So friends, what is Pauli exclusion principle? This principle states that two or more electrons cannot occupy same quantum state. And in simple words, we can say that two electrons in same orbital must have opposite spins. Suppose if we have two electrons and we can place these two electrons in single state, but these two electrons should have the spin anti-parallel to each other. And you can see here, this electron has spin up and this electron has spin down. Now friends, let's see about Fermi level. What is Fermi level? As the name indicates, it is an energy level. But which energy level? It is the highest energy level occupied by electrons. Now let's consider this as a metal. And we know that there will be different different energy levels in a metal. And these are the electrons filled according to Pauli exclusion principle. And this level, this is the highest energy level occupied by electrons. And this level is also called Fermi level. And friends, we know that at room temperature, there will be movement of electrons. If there is movement of electrons, how we get to know that which is filled and which is not filled? For that, we have to measure this at absolute temperature, at zero Kelvin, where we consider that there is no movement of electrons. And in other hand, we can take this Fermi level as reference level of which probability of finding an electron below this level is 100%. Now let's discuss the definition of Fermi energy. It is the maximum energy possessed by an electron at absolute temperature. And in other words, we can say that it is the maximum energy, mostly kinetic energy, a free electron can attain at zero Kelvin temperature, is known as Fermi energy. And different materials have different Fermi energies. And also we can say that it is the value of Fermi level at absolute zero temperature. Now we are going to see a mathematical equation to find the probability of finding an electron in energy levels. And this mathematical equation is given by Fermi Dirac distribution concept where f of e is equal to 1 divided by 1 plus e power e minus e f by kt where e is the energy level and e f is the Fermi energy level and k is the Boltzmann's constant which is 1.3806 into 10 power minus 23 and t is the temperature and this f of e, this f of e gives the probability of electron filling this energy level and because of it is giving the probability the value of f of e always lies between 0 and 1 now let's find the probability of finding an electron below and above the Fermi levels and here let us assume that t is equal to 0 Kelvin now in case 1, if energy level is above the Fermi energy level, then E greater than EF. Then F of V would be equal to 1 by 1 plus exponential and here E minus EF, where E is greater than EF, which means it gives positive value over KT, where here T is equal to 0 and KT will be equal to 0. And this is equal to 1 over 1 plus E power infinity, where it is equal to 0. And it tells that the probability of finding an electron above Fermi level is zero. Now, similarly in case two, if energy level is below the Fermi energy level, then E is less than EF. Then F of E would be equal to one divided by one plus exponential and here E minus EF. E is less than Fermi energy level. It means it gives us negative value over KT. And here T is equal to zero and it means kt will be 0 and this will be equal to 1 over 1 plus e power negative infinity and this is equal to 1 and it tells that the probability of finding an electron below Fermi level is 100% and now let's plot a graph using this and some other temperatures and here f of v gives us the probability and it is given on x-axis and here e is the energy level and it is given on y-axis and let us assume that EF is somewhere here and F of V values are between 0 and 1 because it gives us the probability. And here for E greater than EF, the probability value is 0 and so the graph is plotted here. 
and for e less than ef the probability value is 1 so the graph is plotted here this is the graph for t is equal to 0 kelvin temperature and here i plotted another two graphs for different temperatures this is the graph plotted for 300 kelvin which is room temperature and this is the graph plotted for 500 kelvin which is above the room temperature now we can see here above the fermi energy level at t is equal to 0 kelvin the probability of finding an electron is 0 and for t is equal to 300 kelvin the probability of finding an electron is somewhat increased than t is equal to 0 kelvin and for t is equal to 500 kelvin the probability of finding an electron is increased than t is equal to 300 kelvin now let these graphs be f1 and f2 where we can see that the probability of finding an electron is increasing if we are increasing the temperature above the Fermi level. Similarly, let's see below the Fermi energy level. In this case, at T is equal to 0 Kelvin, the probability of finding an electron is 1. And for T is equal to 300 Kelvin, which is room temperature, the probability of finding an electron is somewhat decreasing than T is equal to 0 Kelvin. And for T is equal to 500 Kelvin, the probability of finding an electron is decreased than T is equal to 300 Kelvin. Let these graphs be F1 dash and F2 dash below the Fermi energy level. And here you can see that if we are increasing the temperature, the probability of finding an electron is decreasing below the Fermi energy level. So basically, you can see that above the Fermi energy level, if temperature is increasing, then the probability of finding an electron is increasing. And similarly, below the Fermi energy level, if the temperature is increasing, the probability of finding an electron is decreasing. So we can assume this in the basis of semiconductors. If we increase in the temperature, then the electrons in balance band are moving towards the conduction band. This is what Fermi Dirac distribution function tells us. So friends, this is all about these concepts. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos.